Yeah, so one of the things that we're trying to do in this film, um, like I said, is, is add layers to the story. And with that comes Jasmine's character. And we're really trying to um, be appropriate to the times that we live in. And Jasmine in this film is a very strong, empowered woman. And what Naomi Scott is able to do, who plays Jasmine, she's able to bring that sense of stability and groundedness and empowerment to this character. And Jasmine's desire in this film is to return Agrabah to the place that it used to be when her mother was still alive. Um, kind of like the kingdom that it used to be, the lost kingdom. Um, and she, she just adds that dimension beautifully to everything that she does with this character. Prince Ali is pr definitely our biggest number of the film. Uh, there's a lot of performers in that number. And uh, it was amazing, man. It, it was like, you know, unlike anything I've ever seen. And even people who have been in this business 20, 30 years, uh, you know, said that it was unlike anything they've ever seen. There was like 300 background performers and there was acrobats and jugglers and all sorts of very, very skilled people, camel riders and uh, camels and horses and carriages and this huge float that I was up on. So I looked like a, a little bleep on top of this huge float. Um, so it was really, really incredible to see and witness. And, um, you know, Will did such a great job of leading that parade as the genie. What happens in the film, right, is that Aladdin meets the genie for the first time ever. He doesn't know who he is, he doesn't know anything about him. And as the movie progresses, we see them build a relationship together. And uh, that was very authentically what happened with me and Will. You know, I had never met Will before. Um, I met him the first day, I didn't know who he was. I had only heard stories of him like Will Smith, kind of like you hear stories about the genie, right? Aladdin's probably heard stories about like the Cave of Wonders and the genie. And that was a lot like Will, you know? I watched this man growing up, this incredible actor, and I'd never met him before. And, um, you know, as we got closer in real life, so did Aladdin and, and genie in the film. So. Um, it was very interesting. I don't think anyone, you know, planned for it to happen that way, but that's just the way it happened. And it was very authentic, and I, I think it comes across because there are scenes where you see Aladdin and the genie really comfortable with each other, and then you see scenes where they're trying to figure each other out, and, and they don't really know how to navigate each other's worlds. And that's very much happened uh, in real life as well. I think what's really important with the genie, uh, no matter who were to do it, and you know, we see it with Robin, is that they're authentically themselves. Um, you can't really put on the genie, and you can't force him, and you can't fake him, because he's an entity, and he's a spirit, and he's all these incredible, very sophisticated things. And the amazing thing about Will is that he plays this as the Will Smith that we know and love, and he brings all his dimensions to it. You know, every movie that you've seen of Will Smith, with his different characters, you know, like Pursuit of Happiness, he plays this very, it's very serious and it's very dramatic, and then he'll do uh, Hitch where he's funny and he's charismatic. He brings that all together in this one role, and you get to see Genie with incredibly different dimensions and incredibly different flavors, and you can't fake that. You really can't. You just have to cast the right person, and. I honestly don't think anyone else in the world could have played him except Will. But he was amazing. Um, he was able to really communicate his vision really well with us and the rest of the crew. He knew exactly what he wanted. He brought his years of experience of creating stories about thieves. A lot of people think like, Guy Ritchie, that's, that's a weird choice for this film. It's actually the perfect choice for this film. Because if you look at the past stories that he's brought to life, they all have this element of crime or thievery to them. And Aladdin, at his essence, is a thief trying to survive. And he's able to bring that vision to this story and bring it to life. Um, so it was just an incredible journey working with him, and I, uh, I, get to, I hope I get to work with him again. Yeah, Michael Wilkinson, uh, great costume designer, uh, prolific in the industry. And um, 
you know, it, it was a bit of a journey trying to get the looks exactly the way we wanted, especially for Aladdin. He wanted to be authentic to, um, you know, this part of the world and the era that we were uh, living in, in this world of Agrabah. But we also wanted to modernize it a little bit in the sense that we wanted to, um, we wanted people to relate to it. So we worked on certain aspects, you know, trying to slim down certain things. Where can we keep it baggy? Where can we slim it down? Um, you know, where can we add certain textures that are cool? You know, one of the things that I love about this film for Aladdin is his vest that he wears. It's a multifunctional vest. It's very appropriate because Aladdin doesn't have a lot of clothes, right? So he needs one or two pieces that can really help him survive. So he has like a secret pocket in this vest in the back where he can hide things that he steals. He has a hood where Abu can sit and lounge. Um, it's thick because he's out in the desert and it gets really, really cold at night for anyone that's ever, you know, experienced the desert. So he was able to um, bring all these different things and combine them and then we were able to alter them and, and I think make them look really cool. Like I think people are going to want to wear these clothes. When they go out, like, I want to wear Aladdin's pants on a daily basis, you know?